Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabax. In this video, we will take a look at some of the highlights from our updates blog post from September. So we will take a look at some of the features that have been released or are currently being rolled out. And we will also take a look at some of the things that we're currently working on and are coming soon. So let's first of all, take a look at some of the UI changes that we've made. Now, when editing or creating a category, it's more clear what kind of category you're creating also with a description of the category type, explaining what cumulative or tiered categories do. I will soon do a full video on tiered packages, but as a quick overview, this is what it looks like. This allows you to create a subscription model where customers can select from multiple levels of membership. They will also automatically receive all the lower tiers. If someone gets the gold package, they will also get the silver and the bronze package. Since all of these packages have the same duration, so in this case, 30 days, this will allow the customer to easily upgrade their package even during a cycle and those changes will take effect immediately. I will link to the documentation in the description just so you know what to expect. Since the customer can directly upgrade the package without going through the checkout, it does mean they are not able to use things like a coupon code or a gift card. We are opening up more features to people on the free plan or no plan to help you kickstart your projects. On our dashboard under settings, billing and then plans, you can also see the link at the top, we can find the differences between the starter plan and also the plus plan. Let's see what is currently being added to the free plan. Available are the team accounts, sales and coupons, gift cards, referrals, abandoned basket recovery, and also purchase follow-ups. This will allow you to work with a bigger team, better engagement tools, and better follow-up tools like abandoned basket recovery and also purchase follow-ups. We are also currently rolling out more payment methods in the APEC region, including Alipay, GrabPay, and NavarPay. Sorry if I mispronounced any of those payment methods. We also did some bug fixes, including gift card usage on regional pricing, webhook statuses, and also some error logins on mobile. And we also fixed a bug where the drop-down menu for managing your projects wasn't showing. Because as you can see, you can definitely have multiple projects on the same account. So let's take a look at some of the features that we're currently working on and being released soon. Something else we're working on is checkout for business. This will allow customers to mark this purchase as a business expense, automatically giving them an invoice. This is perfect if you're a server owner and you're buying assets or plugins or tools for your server, making it a business expense. We are also working on package bundles, allowing you to bundle packages together and sell them for a different price. This is what creating a bundle looks like. You can choose what packages are part of that bundle. And then on the web store, people can see the individual packages that are part of the bundle. They can also click on the package and get a more in-depth breakdown of what is inside of that package. And then we can see the total bundle price at the bottom. Talking about packages, we are also allowing you to add multiple images per package. As a quick demo of what it will look like, I have four images. I can just drop them on here. It will automatically upload those images. I can also add another image or even add a YouTube video. And we can even reorder the images by just dragging them around. So the ability to add multiple images and also a video to your package coming soon. And then lastly, we are also improving the flow when you're inviting someone to your project especially since team accounts are going to be available for everybody, we are working on improving the invitation flow. Hopefully you like those changes and also are excited for what is coming. I will link to the feature request page in the description. And of course, if you have any feedback, leave a comment down below. As always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.